There is research that shows that if people's emotional centers of their nervous system are cut off or damaged in some way, they struggle to make decisions. Yeah, the, the poster child of this type of research is Damasio. Antonio Damasio was really the first researcher to say, wait a second, uh, let's stop demonizing emotions. You know, I have to understand, uh, again, when I did my MBA, many, 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 many years ago, emotions were considered bad for leaders. Any kind of emotional response was coded as reducing your ability to make decisions, which is now the exact opposite of what we understand. We need to recruit our emotional system and emotions are largely managed, you could say, in the hub of the primal brain. Feelings become more conscious over time and give us a chance, if you will, to catch up to the chemical and, and the flooding of our nervous system with hormones and neurotransmitters. And feelings become, at the threshold of our consciousness, you could say between the primal and the rational, an opportunity to say, I'm sad, I'm scared. And so all of this to say that, of course, if you cut off emotions, then you cut off feelings. And if you got feelings, you don't have the critical information to know in which direction you should orient your decision. So decisioning in the brain, I'm absolutely convinced, in the rational brain, cannot be purely factual, cannot be purely logical. I think that's where AI is, in a way. AI is doing the <laughs> yeah. reverse evolution. And I'm huh. passionate about AI since I teach AI for Johns Hopkins. And to me, this is the first time I say it, you know, this is part of how I am. I think that AI is, evolu is, is going through an, a reverse evolutionary process as, as humans have.